The H-6 bomber developed by China is the backbone of the Chinese Air Force. It is also an important bomber that has been in service in China for a relatively long time and has a relatively comprehensive range of modified models. It is equipped with the WS-20 engine, achieving domestic engine power, endurance and overall combat performance. How strong is it? The reaction speed when standing in the air, the ability to continuously output combat power, the destructive power of the weapons carried, etc., collectively form the air combat capability. The H-6 series of bomber models. From the initial prototype to continuous improvement and perfection have also enabled China's aviation manufacturing capabilities to achieve independent innovation while referring to aircraft from other countries. On this basis, it has continuously improved patented technologies, providing a solid foundation for the rapid development of the Chinese Air Force. The level of aircraft engines determines the power, endurance and combat performance of the aircraft. The H-6 bomber was powered by a turbojet 8 series engine, also known as the WP-8 engine. This domestically produced turbojet engine has a maximum thrust of about 9.5 tons. There are certain limitations in terms of power, response and overall performance. However, there are breakthroughs in domestic technology in the bombing radar technology, shooting aiming radar and optical aiming and optical bombing technology that have been developed. In order to improve its performance, the H-6 bomber began using the Russian-made D-30KP-2 turbofan engine in 2010. The thrust of a single engine can reach 12.5 tons, which is more powerful than the original turbojet engine. While using imported engines, the Chinese scientific research team has also continued to work on domestically produced turbofan engines, and has finally been able to finalize and mass produce them. The domestically produced turbofan 20 engine is a large bypass ratio engine, and has shown more obvious improvements in overall technical level and comprehensive performance. This engine can specifically support the power of the H-6 series fighters. Whether it is load capacity or cruising range. The power response speed has been significantly improved, and the thrust performance can exceed the same type of engines produced in Russia, with a maximum thrust of 16 tons. Obviously, there can be a significant improvement in the power system. In terms of strength, it is more suitable for the equipment upgrade of the Chinese Air Force. When developing this engine, we also referred to the Russian D-30 KP-2 turbofan engine, borrowed some of its advantages, and then integrated China's independent innovation ideas, sublimated into a new design concept, and obtained more outstanding comprehensive advanced equipment. The refurbishment life of this engine can reach 5,000 hours, which is a significant improvement over previous domestically produced aircraft engines. The power system of the WS-20 engine is more advanced and can provide powerful thrust. While ensuring sufficient kinetic energy, the fuel consumption has been improved, consuming only 0.62 tons of fuel per hour, which is more fuel efficient and can increase the cruising range. The thrust of the WS-20 engine can carry a payload of 80 tons, with a range of 8,000 kilometers and a weapon carrying capacity of 14 tons. Such a huge weapon carrying capacity directly determines the power of sufficient firepower and continuous output, which can form saturation strikes and fierce destruction on enemy airspace and land targets. This engine can increase the cruising range and achieve stronger flight capabilities while maintaining the total amount of fuel carried. The WS-20 engine has a comprehensive impact on the H-6 series fighters. The aero engine system is the core component of the aircraft and is as important as the heart. The bomber's flight speed, reaction ability, close contact with enemy fighters in the air, accurate control of movements, and violent attack power are all closely related to the engine's power support capability. The domestically produced WS-20 engine provides a huge room for improvement in the modification of the H-6 series bombers. It enables the avionics system to achieve more advanced functions on the basis of power upgrades, and the overall bombing capability can be fast, accurate and powerful. The creation of new models such as the H-6K and H-6N are inseparable from advanced aero engine equipment. By improving the engine's power system, the overall strength of the fighter is upgraded, allowing the bomber to perform better in medium and long-range combat missions no matter how complex and dangerous the battle situation is.
As long as the H-6 series fighters maintain a highly sensitive radar reconnaissance capability and all kinds of weapons and ammunition are sufficient, and there is enough fuel, they will inevitably cause serious damage to the enemy. At the same time, they can also cover their own combat power and improve their ability to protect their own aircraft formations. Precisely because China's military industry team has been constantly upgrading its technology. The H-6 series of bombers has become an important combat force of the Air Force and will continue to make important contributions to China's air defense for a long time to come. China's military industry team is still continuing to make breakthroughs in the field of aero engines. In the future, based on the WS-20, it will upgrade and create more advanced engines, which will have more powerful performance in terms of service life and overall functional power. The future overall combat capability development of the H-6 series bombers will also be inevitably linked to the technological iteration of aero engine equipment. The matching degree and dedicated design will open up new development horizons for the future of Chinese bombers. Not long ago, the Y-20 successfully performed an airlift mission to Tonga. This airlift mission is the most long-range airlift mission the Y-20 has performed so far. The total range is close to 25,000 kilometers, with three takeoff and landings on the way. This airlift mission was quite difficult for the Y-20. The maximum range of the Y-20 was only 7,800 kilometers. And it had to land three times in countries such as the Philippines, Indonesia and Fiji before flying to Tonga. When the WS-20 is installed on the Y-20, the Y-20 will perform the task of airlifting emergency supplies to Tonga then, the Y-20 the of May not need to take off and land three times on the way. It may be enough once, and the cargo carried will increase. Obviously, the full version of the Y-20 must have the WS-20 engine installed. The WS-20 engine will be lower than the existing WS-18 in terms of fuel consumption because it is a large bypass ratio turbofan engine. And its maximum thrust will be higher than that of the WS-18 engine. The WS-20 engine is also the target engine of the Y-20. So the Y-20 with the WS-20 engine installed will be able to completely match the C-17 strategic transport aircraft.